This segment of The Marvel Life is brought to you by Gateway Subaru. We love our kitties and doggies here on Del Marble Life, big or small. We love them all. Oh, that is so right. And you know, most of us consider our pets to be part of the family. Well, now scientists are weighing in on a question many of us have had for years. Do we love Fido the same way we love our children? Well, the results may surprise you. Come on this way. Nicole Scarbeck considers herself not just an owner, but a parent to her six-year-old Pomeranian, Nina. Nina, come here. Together, they have overcome a lot. I definitely feel like she is my child. She makes me just as happy. It's a relationship Dr. Lori Pally recently researched with a team at Massachusetts General Hospital, studying how our brains react to photos of children and our pets. But it adds a new dimension to our understanding, right? Because what people self-report is one thing, and what you see in the brain helps to tell, um, a, I think, more of a story about what might actually be going on. And what was going on in the brain? On the left side is a scan of a mother's brain looking at a photo of her child. On the right, a scan from her looking at an image of her dog. The similarities are striking. It might suggest that there are some areas that are common in terms of the bond. A bond Nicole and Nina can attest to. And I always give a disclaimer, like, I'm not trying to compare my dog to your child. However, I kind of, it's, it feels like the same emotion. Dr. Pally points out there are differences as well. The area in the middle representing the human-to-human -human bond was not activated by pets. But as a pet parent to her cat, Boo Boo, she says the bond is scientifically similar. For Nicole, she doesn't need science to tell her what her heart already knows. She's like my child. She really is. So far, researchers have only studied the relationship between dogs and mothers. Relationships with humans and cats have not been studied yet. Their goal is to eventually study other relationships in order to better understand the role of animals in treatments and therapies. So, what about you? We asked you on the Delmarva Life Facebook page if you love your pets like your children. The response <laughs> was an overwhelming Yes, take a look at some of these photos. Meet Brock from Georgetown. Looks like this sweet boy had a pretty happy birthday. Uh, here's Copper. Looks like Copper gets spoiled on his special day as well. And it's not just on their special day. Oakley and Laurel gets hand fed. <laughs> and take a look at this guy. Little Munchkin in Milford <laughs> gets to eat at the table with the big kids. All right, let's move outside. Playtime's a fun time for Molly in Snow Hill. She's having a great time out there. Look at that. <laughs> and Reese in Eden loves pool time. So does Gunner in Laurel. Now there's a sweetheart. Aw, right now it's shopping time. Take a look at these <laughs> cuties. Here are Ozzy, Dolce, Maya, and Armani in Pittsville. <laughs> Want to go for a stroll? Little Pee Wee up in Wilmington likes to go shopping in style too. Now this little girl's all tuckered out. This is Aww. Muppy. How's that for a sweet baby? <laughs> Yakira Bella looks pretty wiped out too. No doggy bed for her tonight, that's for <laughs> sure. Buster in Greenwood is getting lots and lots of love here in this picture. What a good shot. Paige and Laurel is all cuddled up and cozy. What a sweetheart. <laughs> and take a look at Soprano. This pup is tucked in pretty tight. <laughs> and it's not just cats and dogs getting the love. Take a look at Hannah. This adorable little bunny rabbit <laughs> fidget. <laughs> fidget. If you'd like to see all the rest of the photos that were submitted, just go to our website, WBOC.com. Click on our picture at the top of the page. <laughs> now, maybe you're looking for a pet of your own. We have a few adorable cats and dogs up for adoption right here on the peninsula. First up, this is Lucky. There's a cutie. Lucky's at the Wicomico County Humane Society. Lucky's a 10-year-old terrier mix. She was found by good Samaritans during that very cold snap we had here on Peninsula. Uh, they say she is the perfect little senior dogison. <laughs> Low energy, loves to snuggle. Vivian is also in Wicomico. She's a two-year-old domestic short hair cat. Vivian's friends at the shelter say she's just a terrific girl who is very unique. She's cross-eyed with a bent tail. This is Calibu, also in Wicomico. He is a handsome Siberian Husky mix. They say he is very smart and athletic. He needs lots of exercise, both physical and mental, to keep him to be the best boy ever. Mm -hmm. Huskies do shed, but Calibu loves to be brushed. <laughs> Duffy, also in Wicomico, is a one-year-old Border Collie mix. His friends at the Humane Society say he is a smart boy and he is all about the busy. He likes to run, play, and learn new things. 
Tassel is our last animal in Wicomico today. She's an eight-month-old domestic medium hair cat. Her friends in Wicomico say she is a darling girl with lots of personality. <laughs> Loves to play and she's a little unique as well. She has short hair on her neck and shoulders and the rest of her fur is medium length. Uh, moving over to the Delaware SPCA in Georgetown, meet Shadow, a five-year-old yellow lab mix. Shadow seems to be fine with other dogs and children, but would be better in a home without cats. Now, if you're looking for the perfect partner to play fetch, here's your guy. Jasmine is also in Georgetown at the Delaware SPCA. This beautiful calico cat was brought into the shelter with her brother Mickey when a family member developed allergies. She's a pretty shy, and we hear she is calm, gentle, and a gentle approach works best. Yeah. Also in Georgetown, here's Katie, or Cadence, I love that name, a six-year-old black lab. Her friends at the shelter say she's a sweetheart to absolutely everyone. She has been spayed, she has been vaccinated, heartworm is negative, and microchipped as well, so all she really needs now is her forever home. If you're interested in any of the animals we featured today, visit WBOC.com and click on our picture at the top of the page. Well, maybe you could have your new animal home this holiday weekend. All right, it's almost here. Are you stressed yet? <laughs> Don't be. Up next, we give you a few holiday meal ideas. First up, an Easter favorite, honey bourbon baked ham. Oh, yeah, and a delicious Passover favorite, beef brisket with potatoes. <laughs> Del Marble Life, we'll be right back.